On to our other top story of the night, a man hops off his motorcycle, robs the Bellagio of more than a million dollars in chips, and then just rides off down Las Vegas Boulevard. I'm John Huck. And I'm Elizabeth Watson for Olivia tonight. It seems like a story right out of a movie, but this one probably won't have a Hollywood ending. Here's the surveillance video. Police say the man parked near the valet area and without taking off his helmet went straight to the craps table. That's where he confronted several patrons with a gun. Witnesses say it didn't take long to catch on. People were already kind of suspicious on who he was because he was walking through a casino hotel with a helmet on and who, who does that? Police say it took no more than three minutes to clear the craps table of chips and jump back on his motorcycle and he might have experience. Authorities think this robber struck once before robbing the Suncoast poker room earlier this month. But will he ever be able to turn these chips into cash? Not likely, according to security experts. What measures do casinos have in place to protect themselves? Fox 5's Kevin Bollinger found out some little known security that has the Bellagio breathing easier tonight. He is live outside Bellagio now at this part of the story. Kevin. Well, John, the one question everybody's asking tonight, how did a man wearing a helmet walk into a casino, rob a craps table, and get out without anybody confronting him? Well, just like everywhere else, cutbacks because of a slumping economy means less security at certain times. And although it's not known if the Bellagio has had security cutbacks, we do know that this guy knew exactly when to strike. And experts say it was probably all for nothing. It's the ultimate roll of the dice, walking into what's considered one of the securest casinos in the world and walking out with nearly two million in chips. Remind you of something? I want to knock over a casino. It was an Ocean's Eleven type moment. Just not quite executed as well. Jeff Boyles is a gaming expert and knows casino security inside out. While he admits the heist was gutsy, Boyles also adds, There's no way to cash those in. The robber took chips from $100 to $25,000, mostly of the higher denomination. But those chips likely have radio frequency IDs embedded and other security measures, making them nearly impossible to cash out. $500, 1000 uh, 5,000 and 25,000 most likely have serial numbers on them or they have an embedded chip called RFID. They're able to track them so they know exactly what chips were stolen off of that game. An immediate hold was placed on the chip so even going to other properties over time to launder them is tough. Every casino has been alerted, so for him to even come back in a year, two years, uh, it'd be very difficult to do that. The bigger concern for the Bellagio is who was the likely second person in on the job. The more sophisticated the crime, the more uh, of a collusion base it has. Uh, in this particular instance, he probably had some intel. Uh, I don't know if it came from uh, the actual employees, but it came from someone that was looking out. Let them know that these high denominations were on that crap table, which is not quite as common. Who the hell is this? The man who's robbing you. So even if our Ocean's Eleven robber is looking over the Bellagio fountains after pulling it off, he might just be treading water. Now, casinos do have insurance to cover the loss in the event of something like this happening, and you can bet that properties all over Las Vegas are making steps right now to try and make sure that this exact scenario does not happen again. But we know all too well when people are desperate enough, they're going to continue to look for ways to try and beat the system. We're live on the Strip. Kevin Volander, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.